Hey, you. Aren't you that guy that helps dudes look more attractive? Yeah, that's me. I need your help, dude. Stand up. You want you want me to get up? Yeah. Sure. For starters, you need to change your entire look. Your outfit is whack. Come with me, and and you guys come with me too. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how you guys could go from this to this with these five tips to make you look more attractive, more sexy. Woo! Let's get this video started. Dale, boom! What's up guys, my name is Robert Gomez, and in this channel you'll see men's fashion, fitness, skincare, and dating tips. If you guys find that interesting, well, consider subscribing. And if you guys thought my acting skills were pretty good for an amateur that does not act whatsoever, hit that thumbs button. Without being said, let's get started on the five tips that I have in order to make you guys look more attractive and more sexy. Let's get started with number five. In this category, we're gonna talk a lot about hair. So you're in a date, you meet up with this woman and you guys find each other really attractive. You get lucky. In the first single date. The following video contains strong sexual content and is rated M for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Our advice, don't get caught. You know, you guys get down and dirty. You guys do your guys business. So the girl's pulling your pants down. You don't want to scare her by seeing a damn Chewbacca down there. You want your Willy Wonka to be trimmed. You want it to look sexy. So when the woman pulls it down, she's like, oh, mm, sir. That's a nice pop scope. <laughs> <laughs> let's get out the explicit topic. Now let's talk about facials. If you're able to grow a beard, grow that motherfucker. Fortunately, with my genetics, I cannot grow facial hair. My beard comes out really patchy. And since my hair is really light, you can hardly even notice that I have facial hair. I've seen a lot of guys get that line up on your neck. And right here in your cheekbone, boom. For those that could grow beards, come on, guys. Women find that sexy. Do you like me? Would you like me with a beard? No. Or no? Mm, jokes on her because I can't grow a beard. <laughs> so she's stuck with the baby face, 24 year old. She says she will not date me if I had a beard. So we're talking about the beard. Make sure you grow out your beard. Not only look sexy, it makes you look older. And if you wear a suit with your beard, y'all look dope. I, I, you know, I'm jealous. I wish I could grow a beard, but unfortunately, I cannot. There's one thing I always say y'all have to do make sure you trim your eyebrows i know there's men out there that think that's very feminine yes i understand they will make you look a little bit feminine if you do it wrong there's a certain way to do your eyebrows that does not look feminine it just makes it clean it makes you look better so check your hairline it just looks clean right just because you're trimming it and you're shaving and lining it up doesn't mean you're feminine it's exactly what you're doing with your eyebrows so i uploaded a video a couple months ago of how you guys can learn how to do your eyebrows from home if you guys want to know how to do your eyebrows from home right here in the right corner or in the left corner i don't know where you guys could click on that link and it'll direct you to that video you guys can learn how to do your own eyebrows now let's talk about your haircut during the pandemic i decided to be like you know what fuck it i'm gonna learn and i'm gonna teach myself to cut my own hair if you guys want to try self cuts and cut your own hair go for it you know i'm gonna be honest you're gonna fuck up your hair a lot of time everyone has their own type of hairstyle not every hairstyle suits for every single person everyone has different features that matches different type of hairstyles so make sure you find a specific hairstyle that suits you that makes you look more sexy and attractive now let's talk about tip number four in this category we're gonna talk about fitness there's a lot of people out there that don't like to work out when you start working out you guys are gonna start feeling way better about yourself we all have insecurities i gained a couple pounds in my relationship you know i lost them already but i'm gonna be honest I did not felt good. I didn't have confidence. I just felt really insecure about my weight. I just really recommend you guys. If you really want to start working out and start getting that dream body that you want, start now. You can start weightlifting, start gaining muscle. You can start doing a lot of cardio to start losing weight and burning calories. Not only working out, just make sure you start eating a little bit more healthier. It doesn't have to be a dramatic change in your diet. Just try to drink a lot of more water, lower your sugar intake, and lower your carbs. Just by doing those little steps, eating less calories, calories you will start losing weight maybe in two to three months you will lose maybe 25 pounds if you really really work out and you put a lot of dedication and you make that as a daily routine so now let's talk about tip number three if you guys saw in the intro how i look a little bit spicy i look a little bit handsome i look i'm gonna be honest i look popping you see that's confidence bro if you compare someone that just comes with a t-shirt and regular baggy shoes and converse versus someone that's wearing tuxedo a suit or freaking dressing pants who are you gonna take more serious the guy with the suit or the guy that's dressed more casually. If you start dressing a little bit more better, women will notice that. They will actually start giving you eye contact. They will actually, you know, be like, mm, look at that man. Yeah, baby, I'm a real man now. Come here, girl. 
but no kidding start dressing a little bit more older start dressing a little bit more classy i personally think that suits me better it's not going to suit for everyone but just find your own style rock with that and just by finding your own style and start dressing a little bit more better you will get three times more confidence once you start getting confidence if you go into a room people will feel your mood they will feel your confidence women find a man that has a lot of confidence very attractive i'm gonna be honest i take care of my skin to the point i have more products than my girlfriend it sounds a little bit more embarrassing but in the past i used to have a lot of acne assisting acne during high school and i didn't have no confidence and that's one thing that sucked during high school that i did have acne focusing a little bit more on my skincare and actually start doing research on cleansers moisturizers and on clay masks exfoliators that's when my skin made a dramatic jump and i started clearing up my skin make sure you have a skincare routine not only your face will look amazing but you will prevent acne so just make sure you make that as a daily routine cleanse moisturize and if you do live in a hot environment it's really important for you guys to have spf but skincare is not difficult it's really easy to understand so do your research start learning what good products are good for your face start actually taking care of your skin the benefits of having a skincare routine is you will prevent aging you'll prevent wrinkles and you'll prevent acne you prevent dry skin there's just so many benefits of you taking care of your skin so make sure you guys make that a priority now this last one is gonna be a little bit cliche you see what i'm doing right now i'm smiling so this category is smiling so i'm gonna use this as an example so I'm going into Starbucks, right? There's two women. One of them, when you look at them, they don't smile, they don't engage, they're with an attitude. The other one just waves at you and says hi with a smile. Who are you gonna engage? Most likely you're gonna engage the person that's smiling at you. So make sure you smile. Look, this is my regular face, and this is when I smile, my chubby freaking chimp monk face, watch. Or, just smile a little bit, you know? You just look more gorgeous, you look more approachable. Besides the smiling part is give other people's compliments. So imagine you see a woman with nice shoes or you like a shirt that she's wearing. Go up to the, hey, I like your shirt. Now that you make that person smile, now that person's gonna make other people smile. So by you just giving a compliment, you're literally just spreading positivity. So that's one tip, make sure you give people compliments. If you're trying to find a sexy lady, go give her a compliment. So just go up to the girl, introduce yourself. It, well, what's the worst that's gonna happen? No, we all get rejected at least once. But imagine if you go to that girl and you say hi, what if she doesn't reject you? What if she's the love of your life? What if she's, you know, your girlfriend? What if she's the mother of your child five, 10 years from now? You just never know. You don't want to live your life saying like, but I could have done this, but I couldn't do that. You cross out the butts and just go and talk to the girl. And don't forget, give that little smile. That was my last tip for you guys. Just make sure you guys smile. Make sure you guys spread positivity. So today was a quick video. I just wanted to give you guys five tips for you guys to be able to apply in your life to make you look more attractive. Men, go get those ladies. Go apply those five tips that I gave you guys. And trust me, it will change your life for the good. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like this video. Also consider subscribing if you wanna keep seeing content like this. And don't forget, if you really wanna get notified each time I post, hit that notification button and click all so you can get notified anytime I post. So I hope you guys have an amazing day, guys. See you guys on the next video. Boom, dale.